Welcome back to Stab the Dragon Productions for episode number 84, Whiskey Review number 51. As tonight, we take on Balconus Brimstone, a very controversial whiskey. Balconus Brimstone is a 100% blue corn whiskey. No age statement. It's been infused with smoke from Texas scrub oak. This 750 milliliter bottle comes in at 53% ABV for a 106 proof. This is batch number BRM 20-4. Date of bottling 11-12 of 20. Distilled and bottled in Waco, Texas, Balconus cost about or Balconus Brimstone cost about $50. This is part of the core lineup at Balconus. My total score 95. Letter grade a plus. Recommendation. This is an unusual whiskey. Ingenious. Amazing. This is going to be one of my all-time favorites, but this is not a daily drinker. This is liquid barbecue smoke. Supremely smoky, and it's not going to be for everyone. If you like a heavily peated scotch, well, maybe this would work for you. But this is a different smoke altogether from scotch. I I drink some scotches, but to me, scotch smoke is not really smoke. This is like sticking your head in the barbecue grill. It's bonfire smoke. Barbecue. Absolutely. The reviews of this whiskey are all over the place. Seems like you either love it or hate it. I love this one. Now let's get into the details. <coughs> History. I've given the history of Balconis in previous episodes, but... Quickly, Balconus was founded in 2008. This distillery is located in Waco, Texas, and it was the first distillery in Texas to actually sell whiskey since the days of Prohibition. Balconus is most known for their corn whiskey, featuring blue corn. Chip Tate, the founder, was forced out in a hostile takeover of sorts by his investors in 2014. This distillery just sold a few weeks ago, about a month ago, to Diageo. This whiskey won Liquid Gold Award in Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible, Whiskies of the World Gold Best in Class twice, 2014 and 2016. Many reviews of this whiskey, and a lot of those that I found were not favorable. I mean, there were some pretty negative comments that I found on, on checking the reviews. So there, there's lots of reviews out there. Like I said, people are going to love it or hate it. But for history of this whiskey, Five points out of five. Marketing, bottle, packaging. The Plain Jane bottle is not my favorite style of bottle, but the labels are pretty good. The label here is very informative. It's bold. It's eye-catching. It's black with the white and gold lettering, and then you've got the bright red flame coming up there. So it's a, an attractive uh, package. I'm not sure that I have seen any advertisements for Balconis. On the back is the hoo-ha statement, and it says, Purification through fire. This one-of-a-kind whiskey is smoked with sun-baked Texas scrub oak using our own secret process. The result is a whiskey full of fresh, youthful corn and light fruit notes married with a bold smokiness. Whether you like smoky whiskeys or just have a penchant for big new flavors, Brimstone is sure to be a memorable pour. Aromas of masa, Texas campfire, and powdered sugar, backed by stone fruit, peppery spice, and mint. Bold yet balanced, Brimstone is yet another Texas original from Balconis. Jared Hempstead, head distiller. Non-chill filtered, as always. Aged at least one day in oak. Go Texan. So there's the hoo-ha statement from uh, Balconis on, on the back. So marketing bottle and packaging. Uh, you know, this, this is probably the most attractive brimstone bottle. I, I thought the rye that we did last time was pretty good, but this is more attractive label. So I, I'm going to give it uh, five out of five points here.
composition. This is a 750 milliliter bottle of roasted blue corn that comes from New Mexico. 53 ABV, 106 proof, distilled in a pot still, it says, and aged for at least one day in oak. This is not smoked like uh, scotches are smoked. With scotch, you uh, smoke the, uh, the grain, right? You have the grain all laid out in this building, and you've got the peat burning and the peat smoke, and you smoke the actual grain before you uh, ferment it and, and distill it. This is different. From some of the things I've heard is, is that it's somehow infused into the actual whiskey uh, late in the game. Okay, so, so that's a different way of doing it. I saw one commentator who said, oh, this is like a bong. Maybe so. I don't know. But uh, this is uh, really a very simple whiskey to, to discern its composition. I mean, they say, you know, right there, this is 100% blue corn. And then Texas scrub oak smoke. So there you go. 15 points for composition. Appearance. Well, you saw this. It's dark, very dark. Dark amber, brown, even tea color. This looks like it does. If you look at that, that could be um, a bold iced tea. I mean, I've seen teas that were not this dark. Uh, the, the smoke contributes to that blue corn. Blue corn will give it uh, a dark color as well as a red tint. And so you can see the red tint here in the glass a little bit. So it's a dark brown, uh, weak coffee, strong tea colored. So all in all, it's one of the darkest whiskeys I've seen. So five points out of five. Nosing. The website says confectioner sugar, cold smoked butter corn husk, barbecue pit, stone fruit, chili peppers, graham crackers. I get uh, some corn and sweetness, campfire teflon, I mean that's the dominant thing. A little bit of mustiness from the corn. I like the idea of smoked chili peppers. <coughs> that that kind of makes sense. I've I grill all the time and I've grilled jalapenos, so this is a very intriguing nose. It's very inviting. It's it's different. And, and again, the, the smokiness here is 180 degrees different from anything Scotland ever thought about making. And no disrespect to, to scotch. I mean, I like scotches too. But, I mean, if, if you like barbecue, the, this may be the whiskey for you. This is, it smells like barbecue, but sweet. 9 out of 10 for the nose. Now the all-important taste. The website says, Candied Oak Smoke. <laughs> what is that? How do you can't make oak smoke candy, I guess? I don't know. English Pipe Tobacco. Yeah. Butter, orange marmalade. Really? Fruit cocktail, sweet tea, maybe, and chili peppers. What do I get? Definitely barbecue and campfire smoke. But it's sweet. So, you know, there may be some brown sugar, molasses going on there. Uh, the corn and the mustiness of the corn comes through. Buttery, yeah. Chili peppers off the grill, I think so. I can see that. Fruit. You know, they said orange mar orange marmalade, and I kind of laughed at that. Th there may be something to that. There may be just hints of orange going on in there. Normally, I don't pick up fruit taste very well in whiskey, but this is an amazing taste. This is very, in, it, it's different. It's interesting. 
delicious. Okay, I mean this this is fantastic for me. And and I like I said I I barbecue all the time. I, I love barbecue, and so this is just perfect for me. Taste twenty three out of twenty five. Why did I not max it out? It's so bold. It's so strong that that this is not going to be a daily sipper, and and so I, I think that's going to pull a couple of points away. So twenty three points. Mouthfeel and finish. Creamy, buttery. <coughs> the, the the heat level here. You get some spicy tingles for sure, but it doesn't get up in the sinus as much. It does a little bit, and then in the back of the throat, some. Nothing really going down. This this is for 106 proof. This is very smooth. I would say this is a smooth whiskey. Now it's not Irish whiskey smooth, okay? It's it's not lame, but man, I, I've had you know 86 proof whiskeys that had a bigger kick than this, for sure. So it's very smooth, but the mouthfeel is rich, creamy, buttery. Uh, the finish is long. I I, I mean it's. Uh, you, you taste this for a long time. The, the flavor is a kick in the face, but it's smooth going down with just a, a very little burn. Uh, but the flavor keep the smoke and the sweetness lingers. Okay, so it's a very long finish. You'll, you'll be tasting this tomorrow morning, maybe. Definitely. So mouthfeel and finish, 13 out of 15. I could, you know, why did I take a couple of points away? I, I could hope for a stronger kick. I really do like a burn in a whiskey and uh, this is so gentle uh, I, I wish it had a little bit more of a kick. 13 points. Price, value, and availability. You can get this at, uh, now this is November of 2022 and at Total Wine $49.99 at Specs $48.99 Goody Goody $49.99. So essentially $50 for a craft whiskey that is this rich, it's amazing, it's unusual, deep flavors, complexity, uh, 10, 10 out of 10 points for price, value, and availability, 10 points. Neater mixer. I like it neat, uh, as strong as this is, I could see, you know, putting it on ice, that would probably work. I would be fascinated to try this in a cocktail. I mean, yeah, this would hold up definitely well in a cocktail. So five points for the neat mixer category. Which leaves the bonus. I think this is going to be one of my lifelong favorites. So cheers to Balconis, five points. And uh, Diageo, don't mess this up. Total score, 95. Letter grade, A+. Plus. My recommendation, if you're scotch drinkers out there, if, if you like smoky scotches, some strong Islas, uh, <clears throat> real smoke, this whiskey is maybe for you. Now, it's a totally different smoke. Okay, this is barbecue smoke. This is bonfire smoke. And so if you like barbecue or bonfire, you've got to try brimstone. And, and really pair it with some barbecue. Pair it with grilled burgers or something. Uh, eat, eat something smoky and drink this whiskey together. Uh, and I think you'll really catch it. Now, a caution. This whiskey is unusual. It's different. Uh, it is unique. And it, it, by reading the reviews I read, this whiskey is divisive. Uh, it's not for everyone. Absolutely. To me, this whiskey is the quintessential Texas whiskey. You get corn and Texas barbecue together. Absolutely. When I grill on the grill, I like to get some, I use charcoal to begin with, and I mix some mesquite smoke or mesquite chips in there and get mesquite smoke. 
I like putting some corn on the cob on the grill along with the burgers or steaks and I get smoky corn and guess what that's what this is so this is definitely one of my all-time favorite whiskeys and it's probably ruined me for scotch yeah now I would not recommend just outright spending fifty dollars on this find a way to try it first uh, I actually had of the smoky Texas whiskeys I had Andalusia striker first which is a smoky single malt from South Texas and I didn't like it on the first sip and the bottle sat up in my shelf for a year but then I got this one and when I tried this I liked it immediately then I went back to the Andalusia striker and I liked it too so my palate has changed it, it's grown but one of the things that really helped me along this process was actually Jack Daniels. I had a glass of Jack Daniels while I was eating barbecued burgers, you know, straight off the grill. And all of a sudden, it brought Jack Daniels alive. Well, then I opened up this bottle. Oh, man, it was just a perfect situation. So, yes, drink this with barbecue, with grilled burgers, and, and see what you think. Now, if, if you're just a Kentucky bourbon fan and it's like, man, those classic bourbon flavors are, that's where my I'm, I'm at. I'm centered there. This is probably not going to be for you. Uh, but try it anyway and, and see. But again, don't go, don't go out there and spend 50 bucks on the bottle and then take one sip and hate it. Don't do that. Although if you did that, you could gift me the bottle. That would work. So for me, is this a daily drinker? No, absolutely not. This is so strong. It's so flavorful. It's so unique. This is not going to be a daily drinker. It's going to be special occasions. Like I said, when I grill, I'm breaking this out. I'm breaking Andalusia Striker out. I'm, I'm bringing out Jack Daniels. Okay, so this is a special occasion whiskey, but it is darn good. Absolutely. Uh, conclusion. That's all for this episode. If you drink... Don't be a driving. Be safe this holiday season. This is Stab the Dragon out here.